a non-Jew kid that is in the process of conversion do a bar mitzvah? Uh, I, I don't understand the question. I mean, a bar mitzvah means you're accepting the mitzvot on you. If the person is not Jewish, he cannot accept the mitzvot upon him. He can't convert himself. So, if if they understand what bar mitzvah means, bar mitzvah means you become an owner of the mitzvot. You're taking the mitzvot upon yourself, but you can't as long as you're not Jewish. So, uh, I mean, if they want to have a party and just feed a bunch of strangers and, and get some guy with a, uh, I don't know, a uh, Harley Davidson to, to drive in, you know, they, they don't have to call it bar mitzvah. They just call it a party. But if they want to do a bar mitzvah, they have to be Jewish. Uh, at the very least, they know what a bar mitzvah is, but not... not uh, uh, not not just to create things just because they, they want to feel Jewish. Many people do that and they create problems. Uh, people that are in the process of conversion get so acclimated to the Jewish life that they lose momentum when it comes to actually converting, which ends up causing them to uh, um, take longer for conversion. They don't have as much enthusiasm because they already feel Jewish. It's a mistake that a lot of people make. Uh, you know, they already go to synagogue, they already pray, they already, you know, go to Shulim. So, they feel like, ah, so what? Okay, I don't have the certificate, but I already feel like my neshama is Jewish. Like, you know, it's a stupid statement like that that cause people to end up losing their eternity. But a lot of people do it. So, uh, I, I always tell people, if you're in the process of conversion, do everything you possibly can to keep yourself uncomfortable until you convert. To, until you convert, you know, make sure that you're doing everything possible to keep yourself enthusiastic about conversion. Now, it's more problematic to do that when you have a family involved. Meaning, if you're alone, you're a single guy, you're a single girl, it's easier to keep yourself uh, motivated and to take less time converting because all you have to do is just take care of yourself. But when you have a family involved, even if you're extremely motivated, if your spouse or kids are not motivated, it's, it becomes much, much more difficult. Uh, the journey much, is much more difficult, but uh, generally speaking, there's no need for a person to break up their family for the sake of conversion. Uh, they just need to be patient uh, and use that time while everybody else is getting up to speed. Use that time to keep everybody motivated uh, and use that time to learn more and do more that they can that's within their power uh, at the time while they're still in the process of conversion.